What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we need to talk about Sundial Growers, and we'll also touch on Tilray. So Sundial, ticker symbol SNDL, and TLRY, both of these stocks are doing very well today. Here's the chart for Sundial. You can see we're up about 5% from the close of yesterday, and yesterday in and of itself was a very impressive day. If you look at the past 10 days, Sundial's been on a pretty big rally. Tilray as well, both of these stocks doing pretty darn good. So there is some news in the cannabis space that's been driving up not just Sundial, not just Tilray, but a lot of cannabis-related stocks, okay? A ton of things have been happening in the cannabis space, and a ton of things have yet to happen that people are anticipating will further drive these stocks up. So first off, we'll talk about what's been going on lately. Rhode Island House Panel discusses competing cannabis legalization proposals from lawmakers and the governor. So in Rhode Island, uh, not only is the governor proposing a budget proposal that includes provisions to end cannabis criminalization and create a regulated market, but the island how the Rhode Island House Committee is discussing a bill to legalize cannabis in the state as well. So we're looking at exciting stuff there. Some complaints about this bill, okay, some advocates have testified and raised concerns about whether the bill will provide enough uh, enough uh, legislation to help people who have been incarcerated due to cannabis convictions, right? They think that the state uh, implementing this bill, it's, it's not going to be as good because it requires proactive petitions for relief instead of automatic expungements by the state. So it's not the ideal bill in some people's eyes regarding uh, past cannabis convictions, but other things considered, it's a pretty favorable bill. We'll see what ends up getting passed in Rhode Island. Now, also, uh, sorry, not not we're not going to talk about Schumer yet. All right, Maryland lawmakers approve millions in funding to implement cannabis legalization if reform is enacted. Okay, this is happening later this year. There's going to be a vote held in Maryland, obviously the November midterm elections, and on the ballot is going to be a cannabis legalization initiative, okay? So uh, this comes one month after the full House of Delegates separately passes a bill to put cannabis legalization on the state's 2022 ballot and set initial rules if voters approve the reform in November. So it's going to be up to voters. And obviously, you know, we've seen what happens with cannabis legalization when you leave it up to voters. It tends to be the case that it gets passed. That's what we saw in the last elections. A lot of states, I believe nine states, if I'm not mistaken, ended up passing cannabis legalization. Uh, on the ballots and really good stuff it tends to happen when you leave it up to the voters, right? That's when democracy, democracy can do the work it's meant to do. People can vote for what they believe in and you don't have politicians getting in the way. So all things considered, I'm very excited to see this be on the 2022 ballot in Maryland. And uh, we are looking at a situation where they've already passed a bill that would provide about $52 million of support for cannabis legalization if we do end up getting that passed. So there's already starting to be a build out of infrastructure, right? They're already expecting that this bill will pass most likely and thus are passing prematurely uh, some funding to support the implementation of cannabis legalization, all right? This would facilitate expungements. So take care of the thing that they were worried about in Rhode Island. It would make expungements uh, a more easy process, right? It would uh, at least throw funding in that direction for prior cannabis convictions, okay? It would fund a disparity study as well to better understand the barriers to entering the cannabis market. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, what we're looking forward to also in April, obviously, Chuck Schumer plans to file his cannabis legalization bill in April. He has asked senators to help shape this cannabis legalization bill. So the more people who ended up jumping on that offer and deciding to help him shape it, the more likely that we're going to see that bill get passed because that's going to mean there are more people who are already initially on board with the bill if they're the ones who are helping to shape it than otherwise would be if it was just him doing this alone. So it's a good thing that he's asking senators to help him shape this bill. Now, obviously, we've already seen some cannabis legalization bills proposed in the House. In fact, one of which one of those bills was already endorsed by Amazon, right? Amazon, the shipping company, right? The online shopping company, the online e-commerce company that you guys all know and probably use, uh, posted to their public policy account that we're pleased to endorse Representative Nancy Mace's States Reforms Act. Like so many in this country, we believe it's time to reform the nation's cannabis policy and Amazon is committed to helping lead the effort. So you guys, if you're longtime viewers of the channel, have already heard about this, but this is new news that we've got to talk about uh, or uh, <laughs> newly important news, right? As we're seeing more cannabis legalization bills come forward, most likely in April, we're going to potentially see Amazon talk about some of those as well. We're going to see what ends up happening if other big companies end up jumping on the cannabis legalization bandwagon. What I like about this tweet, though, is that they say Amazon is committed to helping lead the effort. So when you start getting big businesses like this very bullish on a certain initiative, on a certain type of bill, that's when you can really see 
big movements uh, and quick from the government, right? That's typically what it takes. It takes a lot of money, uh, a lot of big influential companies or people helping lead the effort. And Amazon is certainly very influential, all right? Now, we'll talk a little bit about Sundial, okay? Some things that are going on for Sundial, a little bit less relevant to overall cannabis stocks, but we'll also start to touch on that in a bit. We'll talk about Tilray in a bit. Uh, Nova Cannabis, though. Nova Cannabis is a company that is majority the, the majority of is owned by Alcana, which is a company that Sundial is acquiring later this month on the 30th at the latest. So at some point between now and the 30th is when we can expect Sundial to acquire Alcana. That means that they will also be acquiring Nova Cannabis. We already covered this in the last video, but they just had great revenue numbers, all right? Their sales were 46 or 47.6 million, 175% increase year over year, gross profit of 8.4 million. And it's looking like it's going to be a really great asset for Sundial to be holding. Obviously, Sundial holds uh, a slew of different cannabis companies, right? Lately, they have become uh, a big investor in the cannabis space. Ever since they raised a bunch of cash during their last rally, they've been fortunate enough to uh, be able to purchase up some pretty good cannabis companies. So we're looking at a situation where shorts might be starting to see the writing on the wall, right? They, they might be realizing what's going on with Sundial, right? This is a chart of the Sundial short interest. And you can see that over the past couple of months, it's been decreasing. That's a trend that we're continuing to see over the past couple of days. We're seeing shorts slowly but surely exiting Sundial stock, all right? Shorts, uh, at this point, there are still about 235 million shorts in this, 11.49 million, uh, uh, sorry, 11.49% 11 of the free float is short. I'm mixing up all my words today. Uh, but Sundial overall is seeing fewer and fewer shorts than they have in the past, all right? A lot of shorts are starting to flee Sundial stock. In fact, you can see we're almost at the lows that we've been at since around June. So pretty impressive stuff. We've blown through the, the uh, shorts of April or of August, rather. We've gotten lower than that over the past couple of weeks. Shorts are slowly but surely exiting Sundial. I think that they're starting to see the writing on the wall. They're starting to see that cannabis legalization is a real threat to any short in a cannabis stock, right? They're very worried that these stocks could explode. We've seen what's happened over in the past when these stocks have had legalization hype. Sundial was up uh, actually above $4. It says $3.96 on this chart. During the after hours in pre-market, it was up above $4.20. Uh, so hopefully we'll see something similar to that again as we really start getting some hype in the cannabis space. In November, during Sundial's last earnings call, they actually got up to $0.99.99 .99 cents during the after hours in pre-market. And uh, we do have an earnings call coming up on the 29th. That will be a key date to look for. Now, meanwhile, Sundial is also climbing up the rankings on StockTwits. The day they just got on due to the recent rise that they've seen and the recent cannabis legalization hype that we're seeing. Okay, they are the number eight top most active stock on StockTwits. And it's not just Sundial. They're not the only uh, trending cannabis stock, all right? Tilray is number five on the top trending list on StockTwits. So both of these stocks are doing decently well. Both of these are performing well on Google Trends in, in addition to StockTwits, right? A lot of people are searching for these stocks. Sundial is the blue line, Tilray is the red line. Today is getting a lot more search volume than we were the week prior, which is impressive because Sundial, if you look at the past week, you can see was already rising the past week. So it's not even like they're getting more attention just now because they're bullish all of a sudden. They were already bullish. Now they're even more bullish and a lot more people are starting to look into these stocks. Hopefully we're going to see some more people entering these stocks sometime soon. You can see on Reddit, things haven't picked up quite as much. Obviously Reddit takes a little bit longer uh, to really get into the groove of things. So uh, Tilray is currently the number 16 stock on Reddit and Sundial is all the way down at stock number 44. So uh, hopefully over the next couple of days, if these things can continue to grow in price, we'll probably see them move up on Reddit as well. So overall, it's looking like really good stuff for Sundial and for Tilray. Tilray also experienced a big boost in price over the past couple of days. In fact, reaching highs of $6.69, pretty impressive stuff. Both of these stocks, unfortunately, during the trading hours have actually been in slight declines. Uh, but we'll see what the rest of the day can bring us if we can get some more catalysts coming in for these. Obviously, Sundial, keep note of the two that we've got coming for us later this uh, over the next week, actually, about uh, the next seven days are what you're going to want to watch out for for Sundial because you've got both the Alcana acquisition and the Sundial earnings call. So two big things coming up for Sundial. Tilray is also very exciting, right? I'm holding both of those stocks. I'm slightly more bullish on Sundial. Tilray might do better over the long term. We'll see what goes on. But Sundial, I certainly think, has a little bit more pump potential. It certainly gets a little bit more retail interest. And there could be a bit more of a buying frenzy, I think, 
on Sundial stock. At least that's what we've seen in the past. So other than that, guys, that's what I'm here to talk about. Just to give you guys some of the news. Keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I'm not advising anyone to do anything or making any recommendations. I'm just letting you guys know what my opinions are, what I think about these things, bringing you some of the news. And if you appreciate it, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated by me. So other than that, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.